Excuse me, Oga. Excuse me, Oga. Oga, sir. Oga. How much you give me? 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 Doctor, please talk to me now. Please talk to me. Take it easy. Sit down first, please. Sit down. Yeah. So, how are you today? I'm fine, Doctor. Good. I'm fine. How is my daughter? What's the problem? Well, see, is my daughter still alive? <laughs> Look, Mr. Igbama. I must confess to you, leukemia is not one of those easily combated elements. Leukemia? Yes. She has leukemia. Serious. God. God. Is she going to die? Well, I, I don't know, but I still believe she can survive. Okay. Well, doctor, I'm still listening to you. Yes, she can live. But you see, Mr. Ibenwa. It's going to involve so much money. It's going to cost you a whole lot of money. All right. How much money are we talking about here, Doctor? Uh, to the tune of about 700 to 750,000 to Naira. Hey! F1. See, Mr. Ipima, what we need here is hard work. You need to work hard. Seven hundred and something thousand naira. You understand? Oh. Hmm. As I was saying, Pastor, it's not for every little need of the church that you have to summon the parish council. Just come to me. I have enough to cater for the needs of the church. Hmm? Chief, Chief. Here is, here is a check. For five million naira. Wow! Yes. This is wonderful! I can multiply that so many times over. Just tell me what you require in the church and I will do it. If only to express my gratitude to God for all what he has been doing for me. Well, it's for the few of you that realize the goodness of God in your lives. There is no way I can forget what God has been doing for me and to me. The Lord has been wonderful. That's the only one where I can express my gratitude by supporting the church at all times. Thank you, Chief. I'll go and deposit this immediately. And um, may the Lord richly reward you for responding positively to his work. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Uh, thank you, Pastor. Hey! And um, if you have any kind of that, don't hesitate to. It's a whole world of you, it's all right. Thank you. What are you doing on this seat? What are you doing on this seat? Get off from there. I'm sorry, sir. Do you know how much it cost me to make this seat? You think it's for everybody? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry. You better be. Take a good look at yourself, Ben. You cut an image of a woeful failure. And what is very pathetic about their situation is that you inflicted it on yourself. And then you come to hell me at every available opportunity. What is wrong with you, Ben? Uncle, I said I'm sorry. Uh, that's not why I'm here. Sir. Why are you here? Why are you here? It's because of my daughter, Nenna. Yes. She's sick. She's very ill. She's on admission. In fact, she's dying. I don't have money. For all I care, she might as well be dead. I don't give a damn. Huh? Yes! You had an opportunity to improve on your life. You spawned it and preferred to identify with the dreads of society. Now you come to hound me all the time for money. And you think I can give that money to you then? You think I can give the money to you? Oh, no. Oh, please. Please help me. Don't let my daughter die. Look, listen. Go home, sit down, and let her die. Perhaps her death might just change your circumstances and make you think progressively. 
One more thing. I am going up. Don't let me find you here when I come down there. about him. You don't know what I've been through with Chief. I have explained everything. I have told him the way the situation is. He promises me money, but he doesn't bring anything. You talk about friends. Which friends? It's only when you're in difficulty in this country that you will realize that those who call your friends are just mere fair weather friends. When you're in difficulty, they will desert you like they've deserted me now. Even those who owe me little money, I can't find them anywhere. You think I'm just holding my arms like that? That is not enough reason for us to sit down here and watch our daughter die. I don't want anything to happen to my daughter. So you better go out there and do something. Do something, ma'am, okay. because I don't want to lose my daughter. It's okay. It's all right. I'll, 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 I'll try. Just go and do something. Madam, no day. Now, who you want to again? Now, you're stupid here. Your head, I won't see. Solomon, what is your organ? No day. Organ, no day. Solomon, organ? Who is the animal making that noise? Organ, now your animal brother, Benjamin. So, I am now an animal to you, Solomon. I don't blame you. You hear? I don't blame you at all. Solomon, organ? Let him. Then I'll be finished with him. Uncle, I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Thank you. So why are you back here? Uncle, I have come back to ask you why you have chosen to be wicked, not just to me, but to all my father's children. Why? So you came back here just to ask me such a silly question? That's not all, sir. I've also come to know why you don't want to help me save the life of my daughter. My daughter is lying critically ill in hospital. She's almost given up the ghost. But for 750,000 Naira, I don't have it. Uncle, your generosity is well known throughout the world. You are known all over the world for being very generous in this country. The churches, they know you. You give a lot of money to churches. Even Muslims, they know you. You give money to their cause. They've even given you chieftaincy titles. But to your own blood relations, nothing. We should all die in penury. Uncle, why don't you tell me? Look at me in the eyes and tell me that you are not my father's real brother. 
Look at me and tell me I'm not your real nephew. Then I will understand that. Uncle, remember, when things were rough for you, I come to your house, I feed very well, and you give me transport money. In fact, you were the one who asked me to come out from the village into the city. Things were very rough for you, Uncle. I knew then, but you were helping me. Now you are so rich that I don't even, I'm not even sure that Bill Gates is richer than you. But then you want us to suffer and die in penury. Look at my, my daughter. If I have offended you in any way, forgive me, uncle. Forgive me. But look at my daughter. The poor girl is innocent. Punish me. Let me take the punishment. Don't let my daughter die. Don't let my daughter die. Get up. No, no, I won't get up. Let me kneel down. In fact, I might as well lie down. <laughs> desire to have money to be useful to their environment but look at me I have made money it is true but it is at the expense of my soul oh God you and you alone can save my soul have mercy on me God it was all a mistake was all a mistake. Hello? It's alright. Okay, are the travel papers ready? It's alright. Come and pick me up in the morning at 6 for the airport. Thank you very much. We are fast losing time on this case. Because the rate at which that girl's system are deteriorating each day is alarming. You said your uncle promised to be here. And it's past midday. He's not here. So what's going on? I don't know, Doc. He promised me that he will be here with the money. I believe you, man. But the issue is, there comes a time after which even if the money is doubled, cannot solve the problem. Cannot solve the problem. Your daughter's life is truly at stake, and you know it. Okay, doctor. Let me go see him. I'll be right back. Good. Ben, doctor. Leukemia is a very deadly element. And if your daughter's kind transit from the subacute to acute stage, I reject it. It will never happen. I reject it. Better hurry, man. Nenna is not fine, Auntie. She's not fine at all. The other day I saw your wife and she told me Nenna had just malaria. Is it serious now? It's worse than serious now. Nenna is, is dying. God forbid. Right. It's very bad. Um, where is Uncle? Is he still upstairs? No, he's left this morning. His car is still parked outside. Oh, yes. Actually, he didn't travel by road. Um, just us dropped him at the airport and came back. I see. Is there any problem? Where, where did he go to? Rome. He had to go to Rome this morning to attend the burial of the Pope. Pope! Is there any problem? What is it? Auntie, 
Lena is dying. She has leukemia. The doctor called it so acute. And he says that if we don't raise money quickly, I'm afraid we'll lose her. We will not lose her in Jesus' name. Ah. You're not. Uh, does Chief know about this? He knows. I was here twice yesterday. <laughs> yes, I told him everything. He told me to go back and that today he will meet me in the hospital with money. Only for him to abandon us and travel to Rome to go and bury Pope. Pope, Pope that has fulfilled, lived a fulfilled life. Pope that has no problem. He left yeah. us here. But it's okay. It's okay. This is not a time to shed tears, okay? You know what we're going to do? We'll go to the hospital. Let me see the doctor, okay? Come, let's go. Go, 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 go. As he must have told you, the poor girl is suffering from a subacute leukemia, which is very dangerous and deadly. And we can't keep administering drugs to her. She requires a surgery, which we call a homotopy surgery. And that has to be done very fast. And that will cost about 700 to 750,000 naira. And this hospital requires a minimum deposit of 400,000 naira before we can commence the operation. So if the money is ready, and there's no point wasting time, the girl condition is running out very fast. Well, um, doctor, my husband is not around now. As we speak, he's abroad. But, but there's no problem. He will pay when he comes back. Money will never be a problem. Madam, money is actually the problem here. Remember, this hospital is a private hospital with no governmental support. And there's a particular equipment we need to get online. And it needs money, okay? Money has to be put down before this equipment can be released. Hope you understand. I, I do, I do. Okay, I am going to make a deposit of 250,000 Naira. Don't worry, my husband will make it up when he comes. Madam, that amount cannot even cover for the equipment. How much more, you know, committing my assisting personnel, cash-wise? Doctor, please, let us just do all we can to help this little child. Madam, please. I can't commence the operation with that amount. Besides, this is not the first time we've heard about this your husband will pay slogan. The gynecology unit of this hospital still demands that they owed her when this same child's mother had a miscarriage. All for the same my husband will pay slogan. And the least thing to do was to call and he didn't do it. So I'm sorry. He said he paid the money, we commence the operation, but we forget it. And I warn you, the child's condition is running out very, very fast. Excuse me. I'm just a doctor. Doctor. Help me. Help me. Ben, I have helped you enough. You have to help yourself. Look at your daughter. She's fast running out. Get money and save her life. That's the only way out. No money, no operation. Is there anybody else we can talk to? Anybody to help? Auntie, he has spent all his money. We have even sold our valuables, but it's not getting us anywhere. It's not helping us at all. 
Auntie, please. If there's anything you can do to help us. Anything at all, Auntie. I'll do anything for that help. My girl, my girl, I would have loved to. You know, what is 400,000? I would have brought everything, but I, I, I invested a lot recently. I wish, I wish I could raise the whole lot. Oh, God. Well, are you sure there's nobody else we can talk to? Think, please, think. She's in the hospital. She's really in critical condition. The doctor says she suffers from leukemia and we require about 750,000 naira for them to start work, treatment, and I don't have it. Yeah, have a drink. No, no. Seven hundred and fifty thousand naira. Yes. Is that why you're being tormented like this? I don't have it. Have you ever bothered to ask Snoop how much you're paying for salary? Sam, I'm sorry, Obeleze. That's one problem with you. You you hardly feel for people. Okay, you you okay? Okay, come on. Then I know you love your daughter. Oh, of course, I love my daughter so much. <laughs> okay, okay, um, Snoop. Yes, Don. Get me a wrap. All right, Don. But I don't know, you said you don't want anything to drink? No, I, I said I'm okay. I, I'm all right. I, I don't want to drink anything. Well, you know, uh, it's, it's actually been a long time. Let me have This is ten thousand dollars. You know, I know it's more than what you required actually, but um I can still give you more. But the problem is, uh, Ben, you know, if if I give you this money now, I'm sure it's gonna solve your present problem. But what happens if tomorrow, you know, if another problem turns up? This is the biggest problem that can come to anybody. So help me solve this one. Then forget about me forever. That is where you're wrong. That is where you're wrong, Ben. You know one thing. 
You know, I, I, I actually hate giving people fish because uh, I think I prefer to teach people how to fish. You know, it's, it's better in their life. Let me ask you. Aha! Uh -huh. I know you know it. You see, if you don't cut me now, it is over. The great good. The greatest good. Great one. Yeah. I brought my friend. His name is Benjamin. He has come to sow a seed from his heart. You are welcome, young man. Thank you, sir. In the past, you have been abandoned. I see despair. You have been chastised. I see poverty. I see disappointment. All over you. But now you have come here. Everything will be the reverse. You will experience luck. Abundance, riches, affluence, and power. anything sir it's because your eyes are closed but here your eyes will be open and you will see Yes, sir. 
the person I want to. Hold it. You will pronounce it when I say it. Cut your left thumb with that knife. Eh? Cut your left thumb with that knife. I said, step forward and stab it. Let me, let me know what I'm stabbing, sir. Please, let me know. Do you want to be protected? Yes, sir. Then stab it now. the souls and skulls of riches. You have now made a covenant with the great owl. You will now experience riches, luck, abundance, wealth, and power.
open it. Wait, wait. You know, it was never really my intention to do what I did. So tell me the truth. What I've done, has it hurt anybody in any way? Huh? <laughs> tell me, please. I'm, I'm, I'm worried. Snoop. Yes, Don. Go get him some words and let him get out of here. Obele, Obele, see. If I, if I could, I would have denounced our friendship right here and now. But I, I can't. We're laughing. Go ahead and laugh. Go ahead and laugh. But, but you know what I'm saying is true. I mean, I don't understand what I'm. Obele, 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 wait. What, Obele, see, what, tell me, what I've done, has it hurt anybody? Obele, Chelo, Ebu Mado. This is exactly the equivalence of what you wanted to charge. I didn't have time to go and change it to Naira. All right. <coughs> so, shall we go to the theater? Please sit down. Huh? I took a seat, please. Well, uh, Mr. Ikbenwa, at this point in time, I want you to be a man. I want you to pull yourself together. Okay. Doctor. How is my daughter? You see, we tried our best. We tried our utmost best. But I'm, I'm really sorry we lost it. What? You need to calm down. See, we, we, we tried everything we could believe in. Doctor, you tell me it's not true. See, we Doctor, oh God! Mr. Ibama! Mr. Ibama! Mr. Ibama! Mr. Ibama! does not give you the right to pass into my house like that. No, I'll take that for all time's sake. What is that in your hand? I said I lost my daughter! I heard you the first time. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. I would like to ask you a simple question and please, 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 be honest with me. Does the death of my daughter have anything whatsoever to do with my being initiated into your group? What am I really afraid? I have to be sincere to you. Yes, it does. 
And I didn't have the right to know who I was slain in the mirror? Of course you do. But they noticed your weakness and they took you unawares. But all that is in the past now. Man, son, you're gonna be a rich man. A powerful man, just like me. My daughter was very dear to me. She was indeed very dear to me. Yeah. And so? Well, I came here hoping not to confirm my suspicion. But now that you have confirmed what I thought was what happened, you leave me with no option than to do that which I must do. Which is? You know, Ben, I never knew you were such a dumb. Our life is protected by the owl. The pronouncement of God is useless. Then, you knew I was a cultist all this while, and yet you besieged me with your problem. And now, I have to, and you can't handle it. But Ben, Last time you ever spent such a surprise on me. Now, get out. <laughs> What have I done? What have I done? I... I killed... I killed her. I killed my daughter. Why? Why? God, why? No. No. Oh, no. Hmm. Right, what is wrong? Nothing. Are you sure there's nothing wrong? I'm okay, I'm fine. Alright, if you're okay, why don't you join me? I don't want to eat, thank you. Mm. 
All right. Guess who sends his regards? Who? Father Godspa. Mm -mm. Godspa has been in the country. His eminence. The Cardinal? Mm. I saw him while I was in Rome. I elbowed my way through the crowd and then I tapped him on the shoulder. He turned. He was so excited. He was surprised to see me. His eminence? Mm, mm, he's, um, he's aging now. Gracefully though. He still looks strong. Yeah. Mm. He should. He should. He's quite old now. 73. Yes, he's 73. But he's not as old as the late Pope. The Pope was 84. Well, the Cardinal is still living. He's not dead. I'm not implying that the Cardinal is dying, no. But come to think of it, any of us could die any time, isn't it true? Yes, you're very correct. Mm -hmm. Because we didn't know Nena was going to die this early. Who Nena is that? Ben's daughter, Ben your nephew. Is Nena dead? Are you asking me? Was it not what you wanted? What kind of nonsense is that? What do you mean, was it not what I wanted? Are you crazy? That was what you wanted. Gloria, don't talk to me like that. Shut up. I will not shut up, Dennis. I said shut up! I will not shut up, Dennis. I will not. All right. I will not. Leave this food yourself. Nonsense. I will not shut up. That was what you wanted. Listen, don't talk to me again like I that. I will talk to you like that. When she needed money for the operation, did you bring it? Did you give Benjamin the money? Did you? Knight of St. Paul, did you? Did I, did I kill her? Of course. You want, you want me to say that? You want me to tell you that? Samson. Mm -mm. Obele. Obeleze. Okay. No. Repeat, yeah, yeah. Obeleze. No. You sent for me. Yeah, I did. You know, I actually sent for you. Because the brotherhood things that they've given you enough time you know considering the death of your daughter and they say it is time for you to come to the temple and then formally meet with the apostles is that all that's all okay we couldn't go even so this is why you sent for me mm -hmm. I will go. Samson you and that your so-called brotherhood are nothing but a bunch of irresponsible, wicked, and devilish human beings who lack human sympathy. I lost my daughter. How long ago was that? Barely two weeks. And you call me here to tell me that your blood-sucking brotherhood wants me to come to your temple for I don't know what. You people are wicked. You people are evil. You people are demonic. If I get one more summon from either you or any other member of that your blood-sucking brotherhood, I will not only tell the whole world what you do, but I will make sure that I disgrace all of you one by one. Mark my word. Do so chiebu. Ben, it is not your decision. It is the decision of the brotherhood. And Ben, you must comply with it. Good night, Ben. Once again, once again, once again. 
I summoned the both of you here for all time's sake. Benjamin. Benjamin has sold a seed to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now he's proven stubborn because he has refused to come for the presentations. And you know the consequences. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, Obele, Akarosia. Ochendo, Akalosia. That is me. You see, both of you know that I know Ben more than you do. Going back to the days we spent together at the seaport. Those very funny and bad old days. No, it is not funny. But you see, the Ben that I know is a very pretty stubborn man when it comes to issues like this. Akalosia. Are you trying to tell me? Oh, no. Are you trying to tell the both of us that you are now more familiar with Ben? More than us that actually attended the same primary school? Grew up in the same kindred with him? See, see, see. Obele, you don't have to bother yourself. You know Akalosia now. <laughs> Akalosia can be very possessive. He's smart. <laughs> can you imagine? But I think... 
But notwithstanding, uh, I think he has made a point now. Uh -huh. Because, you see, the Ben, you and I know, is a very stubborn man. Very stubborn man indeed. So, and you know he can be very stiff. I mean, headstrong to a far extent. You have to do something. Okay. Okay. So, what what do you suggest that I do? No, 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 no. What are we going to do? Because it involves all of us. I can't say. I think there's no other thing to do but to play it cool. For a start. You are suggesting that we play it cool for a start. What happens if According to what the two of you are saying concerning his stubbornness, if he refuses to succumb, ah, hey, Ben no, no, no. cannot try it. Listen, <laughs> Abele, you don't inform an English man with Igbo. Okay. That will mean drawing the tail of a baby lion. Oh. The first one, well, it's left for him. He's not doing this. Ha! Huh. He will have to face the music. Definitely. There's no two ways. Say this to clear my conscience. Come on, for one, did you wrong? Anyway, I suppose that was here. You, you guys have the best of friends now, isn't it? Don't worry. Leave Ben to me. Talk to him. Talk to your friend. Have you forgotten that I'm at Louisiana one? Daughter's death. I heard about it. It's a pity. Well, thank you for your concern, Chidi. I appreciate that. But all that is history now. So, your wife, I hope she's not being hard on herself. Certain things are bound to happen to one in life that we as human beings have no power to change. And so if such things happen and we don't want to die early, you just accept them as facts of life and move on. So we are all coping fine. Thank you. Okay. So how is life generally? Life. <laughs> life is hell. Man, you can't be serious, man. But I know you've been fixed up big time now. You don't even have to deny it. By who? I mean, I lost my daughter because of a mere 750,000 naira. And you're talking about being fixed. Chidi, please don't even go there. Life, for now, for me, is as tough and hot as hell. And why are you not doing anything about it? What haven't I done, Chidi? What else can I do about it? Tell me. What else can I do? Listen, man. Some of us that are your friends are willing to help you. Very willing to help you. But the problem is that... Uh, man, man, brace up, man. Brace up? How? You see, your deal worth hundreds of thousands in dollars have pulled through and your partner is ready to pay you even as I speak to you he's ready to pay you it's just for you to anchor the gesture my dear 
You see what I mean? You don't even know about it. But honestly, I, I can't remember any deal that I'm into with anybody that is worth that kind of money. That's just the problem. That's the problem. No, no, no Chidi, Chidi, please, please listen. Okay, what is this deal? And who is this person? Ben, listen to me. You have paid the right dues. You have assumed the right seats. I mean, it's time for you to reap the fruits and you're backing off. Why? I still don't understand you. I don't understand. I'm talking about your deal with the... So you are also in there. So you are with them. Come. No, 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 listen, listen, listen to me, you son of passion. If you ever summon me to this your house again because of this same issue, just know that you are summoning me for your own destruction. Damn you and all you. Everything is all right. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong. I'm fine. Did you have a nightmare? I don't have nightmares. You know that. No business with nightmares. Look, why don't you allow me to just do something to you? Say your own prayers and sleep. I will say mine when I feel like sleeping. Okay. 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 Yes, so you are suggesting I go and pay them that visit now, at this time of night, right? Darling, please stop being difficult. Oh, Gloria, look, all oh, right, allow me to sleep. Uh -huh. Let's I forget. Ruth called. Mm, what did she say? She said that um, Quincy is through with his exams, but um, Gustin had um, that Gustin has two or three papers to go, and that she's not coming home with them. She wants to spend some time with your brother. That little idiot always enjoys flying around. Why can't she ever come home with her relations? Why? Good night. You mean he banged the phone on you? No, it's a lie. Are you serious? Eh? Hey? You do you know what I think? I think you should not call him anymore. Forget about him. You see, $100,000 is big money for him. And that is why I feel he's going to call you back. Just leave him alone. Don't bother to call him. Because if you call him, you'll be making his head swollen and you'll be feeling unnecessarily important. 
forget him. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Or have you forgotten why they call me Akalusia? Me. Akalusia Ngene. Ekulu Ngene Ngo. Aha. Nah, I'll call you back. Eh? Thank you. Later. Akalusia One. Oh no! Akalusia One. Oh no! What happened on Uzo? Why are you calling me Akononozo? Come on. Are you no longer an Igbo man? Hmm? It simply means your wealth is still on its way. And when the wealth finally gets home, do you know what we'll be calling you? Oh no! Akolono. Thank you very much. <laughs> nah, take it. Save that one for the others. <laughs> but it, it will happen soon. Hmm? <laughs> You know, you have added something else to your ingenuity, and that is humor. <laughs> uh, ben, what shall I offer you? Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want anything. Are you serious? I'm okay. 50-50. Good. Now, um, without wasting time, let me tell you why I called you here. Okay. See, Ben, um, I know what you've gone through and what you're still going through. Mm. I'm aware. But you see, there are times that we make mistakes that we might not have the opportunity to correct them or even redeem them. But I believe that no matter the predicament you face, there's always a solution. Whatever problems you're facing right now, Ben, I want you to know that they are not insurmountable. There is a possibility. If only, and only, you want the problem solved. Akalosia, how can you be asking me whether I want to come out of my present terrible situation? You and I go back a long way. Right from our days at the business of spare parts, to our days at the wharf, and even beyond. I have suffered. I have seen terrible situations due to poverty. And thanks to my uncle, Chief Dennis Igbenwa, thanks to him and poverty, I've equally lost my daughter. So why are you asking me if I want to come out of this situation? Um, ben, you still haven't told me anything. But concerning your uncle uh, and his um, stinginess and strictness towards you, I want you to know that there are two sides to a coin. And it is that side of that coin which has stripped him of every iota of human kindness that I'm yet to find out. Check this. Here is a man who called me out of the village and gave me the first foundation to begin with. And now suddenly things are blossoming well for him and he doesn't even look my way at all. Why? Why? Akalosia, why? Look, Ben. You will have to forget about your uncle. You need to start your own life. Or must you depend on him? No, I must not. Good. Now you're talking. Um, there's something I'm wanting to tell you. It's just that um, I felt I should sample your opinion first. Actually, um, I have some business partners that have asked me to bring a person that I can trust to join us in our line of businesses. I don't know what you think. When can I meet them? Where? Are you ready? Am I ready? I'm more than ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Fine. Then let me arrange a meeting immediately. You see, I can't say. Tell them about me. You know me very well. Tell them I'm waiting. Tell them I'm ready. Tell them I'm trustworthy. Tell them I'm hardworking. It's okay. Let me, I will arrange for a meeting immediately. Just hold on.
Yes, I, I remember the rebel one. I've been warned by the Guru and I know the implications of this warning. If I fail to respond as demanded of me, the consequences will be drastic. Therefore, I must find my own sacrifice. I must. Good afternoon, Chief. Uh, uh, justice. Yes, sir. I thought you were supposed to be with Madam until the end of the session. So what are you doing here? She left some files in her room and she asked me to come and pick them, sir. I see. All right, go and get the file. Uh, justice. Yes, sir. Come, come. Uh, go get a glass, come on. Hurry, go get a glass. Yeah, I think the sacrifice has come at last. <laughs> You see, this is what I have always complained about. I am not satisfied with the way Madam is responding to her responsibilities to the church. A person who is the chairperson of the CWO decides to attend the meeting where she will read her annual report and she forgets the report in her file. Do you call that commendable? Well, Chief, I think she was in a hurry. You think she was in a hurry? I asked you to sit down because there is something very important which concerns the family I'd like to discuss with you. Because I already consider you a member of the family. Pour yourself some wine. Come on. Oh, Chief. Thank you, sir. Okay, man. This is not alcoholic. It won't do you any harm. I'm going to finish this part myself. We'll just take a little bit. Come on. Yes, uh, you see, um, I am not satisfied with Madam's attitude to affairs of the church. By the way, she is beginning to ignore her responsibilities to this family in preference for the duties assigned to her in the church as the chairperson of the CWO. And I'm not too happy about it. Go on, take your drink. Come on. It's all right. Keep your glass now so that uh, you can drive carefully. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chief. It's all right. Go take the fires and go and meet her at the church. The servant is ready, the master comes. Yes, 
Chief, I think I should be leaving now, sir. All right, Justice. Let's go your team without the meeting again, sir. Yes, sir. Drive carefully. Yes, sir. Spoiling you with money. <laughs> come, 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 come to daddy. <laughs> oh. I think I love this. You look good. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see this, man. <laughs> Let's get going. This is good. Mm, come. Mm. Oh, 
Listen to me. Ben. You are not going to start your YouTube dramatizing, are you? What will happen if I do? Then, of course, you know I won't let you do that. Come and sit down and listen to your friends. Friends? Did you say friends? Okay. I renounce my friendship to each and every one of you right now. Is that clear? Ben. Ben or whatever they call you. Listen. We are not here to beg you. Eh? Uh -huh. Yes. So why did you bring me here? Tell me, why did you lure me here? To bundle me into your satanic temple? Or worse to force me to become a member of your blood-sucking fatality? Which one? Ben, none of the above. Sit down. We have good news for you. So which one is it? Vampire Samson. Ben, we only invited you here. To warn you. Also to make you to understand that nobody plays that with this brotherhood. Who are the brotherhood? Who the hell do you think you are? We are the grandmasters. The venerable apostles of the great owl. Ben, sit down. Let us give you good news. Listen to me, Ben. Listen and listen God. You cannot eat your cake and have it. Yeah. This is the end of our lineage with you. Listen. If the mouths, if the mouths, they pass into the bag of the native doctor, he does not need to tell the story. Is that clear? Yeah, Ben. You have entered into covenant with the owl. And for this, you lost your precious daughter. Think, my friend. Think. You have nothing more to lose. You have nothing more to lose. Sit down and let us explain for that. Ben! Ben! Do you understand what you're doing? Now, I can Do you see? Do you see? Do you understand it? Now, do you see? The way it's going to end up. It's going to end up. I'm talking to you. What is it? I should be asking you that. Asking me what? In the past few days, you've been sitting out here all alone. What is the problem? So, I am no longer in a position to sit wherever I want, at any point in time when I want? You know that is not what I'm talking about. Whatever the problem is, we can share it together. Okay. 
You want to know what the problem is? Fine. I am relaxing. Okay? I'm simply relaxing. So why don't you let me be? Relaxing? Here and in this mood? Do you know what your problem is, Mabel? Busy body. That's what you do. You can't simply do something without poking your nose into people's affairs. I said I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm relaxing. Let me be. Hey, hey, hey. Please. Don't pour your frustrations out on me. Mabel. Mabel, are you out of it? Come back here. I said come back here, Mabel. Me, frustrated. Okay, I will show you what frustration is all about. Senior Apostle Festus, make your sacrifice. So Samson. Yes, Venerable One. Do you now have your friend with you? No. This is rebellion. Uzukuzuku is disgusted. The pride of the great owl has been insulted. And whoever is responsible must pay for it. Your friend or your riches in three months. Your friend or your riches in three months. Venerable one, I choose to lose my riches in three months. Venerable apostles, your consent. Apostles, any comment? Yes, speak. Venerable one, senior apostles, fellow apostles of the great hour, I ask for the help of our to enable me to secure the release of my impounded consignment worth over 100 million naira that I seek from the owl. And I vow before this great temple of the owl. Hold your promise. In fact, your problem is with the great owl. You are required to revoke the soul and the skull of your riches. Venerable one, I don't understand. 
From now you are required to suck the breasts of a maiden, not older than ten. Starting from next Thursday, which is the last Thursday in every other month, therein lies the soul and the skull of your riches. Aye! Aye! No, it cannot happen. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Hello, doctor. Yes, it's me. It's me. Please send an ambulance to my house. There's an emergency now. Jesus! I... Holy Gabriel, I think you should be telling me what to do with my temper. Because this is going to be the last time I'm going to talk to you about this. I give away three months. Either you're ready to comply with the covenant or be ready for death. It's a lie. Something is a lie. Blood of Jesus. You can't kill me. In fact, you and your gang of blood suckers can never do anything to me. I know the God I serve. As far as I'm concerned, my, I know the God I serve. And my God will always, in fact, I, I, I don't even think that. What is the matter? Who are you talking to? Didn't you see him? Him? Who? You didn't see him. I'm 
Zanadan, Zanadan, Wam Sidi Wam Chiki Wam Le Zanadan, Zanadan, Wam Sidi Wam Chiki Wam Le Zanadan, Zanadan, Wam Sidi Wam Chiki Wam Le Zanadan,